back in the van again, uh, starting the kind of official tour, like uh, playing Goat Hill and Las Vegas were kind of different just because you fly there, you fly back, you get a week at home, but starting the, the tour life again, but uh, I still am gonna try to break it up as much as I can. I uh, got two weeks out in Texas, then I'm gonna be dropping the van off at Rotana's family's house um, and uh, flying back home because I have some dysmania stuff that I need to do back here, back on the road, driving today to somewhere around Amarillo area, maybe a little bit longer depending on how I feel. Let's trust in old in the van. The van actually hasn't gotten all that much use. So hopefully this year is the year where it can really shine and I can call it a home. Make this van a home. We'll see. The journey begins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, crossed over from New Mexico and we're in the great state of Texas. In this little, little town we're driving through is called Tex Line probably because it's on the Texas state line. Great name, two hours out of Amarillo. What a great state, Texas. Okay, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, Texas. We drove about eight hours last night and my dad actually found me a nice little RV park to park at last night. Uh, there wasn't really a lot of good places to park along the way. So I was grateful to find this little place to park and feel comfortable. And uh, right now we're sitting about four hours and 30 minutes away from Waco. I'm gonna hit the gym before, try to get some like uh, glute activation, uh, move the lower body because driving kind of beats up your body. So going to get two practice runs in total, one today, one tomorrow, and then I should be good to go. I know the beast, nothing really changes out there. Also, my in the bag just came out. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys to go check out if you have not. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get in the Capybara van and go. I need to activate my butt. What do you think? I know. Oh, it's so blurry. It's so beautiful. We just got to Waco. Not that long of a drive, but it felt kind of long. Oh, man. Hi. We're here again. Oh, Hi, Chandler. Yeah. Second practice round here at The Beast. The Beast USA. Got the mean wind today. The wind where it makes all these holes harder and the one that uh, they'll throw a hole 17 with or a hole 18, there'll be a headwind over the pond. Very tricky. Look at the beautiful natural architecture of the Brazos River, sandstone cliffs, the sun sparkling over the water. Absolutely beautiful. Dark out, just showered and got a little, what we call workout, just activation at M Anytime Fitness. Heading back to the course now and tomorrow I will be on the Gatekeeper card at 10 o'clock, which I'm really stoked about. Get to play early. Gonna be playing with Nico, Vino Makala, and Zachary Nash. All right. I played very well today in practice. Just, uh, Got to hope to have fun. <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. I'm hanging off the bed. Uh. Uh. 
<laughs> All right, there we go. When you try your best and you don't succeed, try harder. When you give what you want and not what you need, I didn't get what I wanted, or maybe this is what I needed. I stank it up today, but I also didn't. That's what, that's the tougher pill to swallow. It felt, it felt like another round like Vegas where whatever could go wrong did go wrong. You really have to look inwards on times like these. It just, it just happened. It just happened the way it did. I handled myself incredibly well though. I usually get very frustrated almost on all rounds of disc golf that I played. And I definitely did get frustrated, but won about it with a smile. And that kind of messed me up a little bit because when you hold that tension in, it can kind of mess up your shots. And if you watch Gatekeeper Media coverage today, you can definitely tell it messed up my shots. I am trying to reprogram the way my brain works and how I think about disc golf. I don't want to be a slave to my emotions. I want to be impartial. If something good happens, great. If something bad happens, great. And uh, I'm really trying to recondition myself. Disc golf can be very challenging if uh, you let your emotions and what happened on the course dictate the rest of your day. And I have fallen victim to that. And even today, it definitely puts a little damper on the day, but in reality, I'll tell you guys right now, if I did last place and if I win, there's really not too much difference in the grand <coughs> scheme of things. Of course, I wanna win again. And of course, I don't want last place. Being okay with either, I think is, I think is really important. And uh, it's not easy to get to that headspace, but I am trying because a superpower that you can have, I'm really into stoic philosophy as of late. If you're able to not be affected by your surroundings, that's kind of like an underlying superpower. If something's really bad happening and you can just choose not to react to it, while others do, then that's like, you have an, a legitimate advantage if you can get to that level of awareness and control of your, of your emotions and the way you behave. So it's very difficult. Like there's a very strong possibility that I could go out tomorrow and not sit, do whatever I'm saying, but I'm gonna damn well try. And I'm gonna damn well try to climb my way back up because I'm in 107th place right now. I think if I could um, get back into the top 30, that would be a successful week for me. So going to go out there and try my best, but also it's a little bit of a dice roll. I'm wishing myself luck in this very moment. And I wish you luck. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need it. My day started out terrible because I couldn't find my sock. Because I was showering at Anytime Fitness last night and I lost it. And I go back there and my terrible day became great again because I found my sock. I found my sock. It was in the bathroom. My sock was in the bathroom. Oh my God. You know, I have coconut oil in my mouth. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if there was a camera in this van today and someone saw me, how I was freaking out about my sock, they'd have been like, this guy has issues. And you probably think of that anyway, the fact that I'm talking about the sock, but it's important. It's an Injinji toe sock. And they're really nice. Padded toes, that is the biggest break. See, everything ends up good in the end. This is the end. It's not the end, it's not the end yet. All right, time to get the little activation workout in at the gym.
you may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. Looks like I'm getting ice cream. If you get it in the minus two, then you win the game. I'll concede it. Oh, you get another chance. You get the third chance. <laughs> Why are you not getting it? Why aren't you getting it up there? <laughs> this is supposed to be the bonus one. my lawn chair on the Brazos. Got the Daily Stoic. Only worry in the world is the tie gonna reach my chair. Do -do 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 -do. Little introspection, self-reflection. Thinking about disc golf, it's such a fine line because yesterday I like allowed myself to get a little bit angrier and I really feel like that made me play better and talked about it a little bit earlier and it really states it in this book the daily stoic is there's no need to get angry it's not giving you any sort of advantage at least that's what states but it's hard to figure out because there is a little bit of tension release and that you're able to release some sort of dopamine and relax a little bit more and I'm really just trying to rewire my brain so I'm gonna have to like wean off of getting angry it's almost like kind of a drug to a certain degree overall I'm very proud of how I handled myself and just kind of trying to learn my way in disc golf again and kind of recreate the way I go about playing this sport because being an intense competitor is incredible and it can get you really far but i don't know if that's what i like for myself because even when you win it's a little bit it's stressful it's stressful to be in the pressure cooker and like it's an amazing feeling when you overcome it but being a little bit more impartial be a little bit happier and just trying to find a flow state like obviously you still want to win obviously you still want to be good being a little bit more relaxed and impartial to results and finding a flow state. Because I know like in practice, I'm so relaxed and like I shot, I shot 14 down out here um, in practice, just being chill. So like if you're able to let go and find a flow, then I think that can be the most powerful. And if, if people figure that out, then like disc golf would be catapult to another level but that's kind of the art of it the art of sports art of life is finding that fine line being like a river just going with the flow i think uh if i can translate that to my disc golf game and translate it to my life then going with the flow will take me exactly where i need to be
Dismania, baby. All right, guys, this is going to be the conclusion of the Waco vlog. Didn't really get all that much uh, cool footage because we didn't really do that much off the course other than go to the gym, shower, and eat a little bit. Uh, Waco didn't really have all that much fun stuff to do. We did have the uh, that one day we did uh, play pool and mini golf. That was a lot of fun. That place is pretty cool. I think it was called Putters. Yeah, the Waco event didn't go how I wanted, but uh, showed some resolve. I just did uh, back to back like 1045 rated rounds, seven under, eight under, which uh, if I were to put one of those at the front of the event, then I would have had a top 10 finish. Um, just unfortunately got off to a really slow start, made some unforced errors course is weird there's a lot of great holes but some of the holes are a bit of a dice roll definitely wasn't on my game during round one and i paid for it you can't really get away with uh having a bad round at a dgpt event now if you do then uh it's gonna be very difficult to claw back to a uh a respectable finish but uh, i'm happy that i cashed the last couple times i've played waco it has threatened my cash streak not not this time still trying to figure out disc golf again um Last round, had a lot of birdies, 12 birdies, too many bogeys, but uh, hit like four or five outside the circle putts, do some really clean lines. So I'm gonna take that as a positive. The body feels good, I'm holding together. I'm not some fragile little boy. And uh, all in all, just grateful to be back on the road and grateful to be playing disc golf with this lovely lady with me touring in the van it's a lot of fun thank you guys and i just want to quickly say subscribe check out my patreon i appreciate all your guys' support until next time which will be in austin one of my favorite u.s cities keep on treatment peace